Hello, this is Melak and welcome to part 56 of my Let's Play Spaz. Um, I've decided to run for a mining colony and um, and kick some zombie ass. Because our fleet size I think is determined by mining colonies, I, I get the impression. So it would make sense... It would make sense... Oh, here we go. Go on, kill that. It would make sense to kind of aim to improve the strength of the things we're weak in. Yeah? See? Tactical. That's me. Always thinking tactically, probably. Ooh, um, oh, I'm so goddamn slow. But like someone suggested, the point defense is working incredibly well. So... Oh, you, you're dead. Um, the point defense is working so well that I can probably afford, at least on my large ship, to, um, to forego one point defense in... Oh, I'm focusing on that one. That's alright. On one point defense to slap a tractor beam on there, because I am, I am missing quite a few bits on and off, which is a pain in the behind. And as much as data kind of gets sucked up reasonably well, um, our shields really do need a bit more help. Ah, it's not going to survive, is it? Look at that. Point blank range with the friendship beams. <laughs> Get off me, you horrible zombies. Uh oh, look at that, you m ugly beast. Right. There is a lot of zombie scum. Um, ah, oh yeah, and a lot of people keep saying when you're filled with rares and stuff, drop it off and, and I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> it would be, um... Oh, is that my armor? Oh, what have I done? I f Hang on, it's you and... Is it N and... I have, I've just gotten rid of all my armor plates. I'm an idiot. I mean, you guys already knew all that, but... Oh, the fight's practically over. Actually, to be fair, it... It isn't. We've just got one scab left. Oh! We've got a blowfish now. I hate these things. I hate it when they run off. That's the one thing in this game they really shouldn't have put in. Is the whole zombie ships running away. Or, or just ships in general running away. It actually provides them with no tactical advantage. It, all it does is annoy. You see, look, it ran away, and then we blew it up. I'm gonna have to be extra careful. I should be all right. I just got to keep an eye on my shields. Wow. Hello. You're um, a nasty piece of work, aren't you? Look, I'm, I'm spending extra time in getting... See, my cargo hold can't quite handle that. Oh, and now I've missed it. Focus on the fu ah, it's too. It's got too much momentum. Fine, I'm gonna destroy this one. Right, everyone. Oh no, the beacon is actually down there. I thought. The, I don't know why I thought we were. In a different location. 
from the perspective of where the beacon was. Come on, get back here. You're not getting away from us. It's not a massive amount of time to warm up, but, uh-oh, I wasn't paying attention. I need to pay attention more. Oh, I missed that data. Oh, don't want another one of them on my ass. Said ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. Right. Is that one of mine and one of theirs and what? I seem to have gained a grinder at some point and lost the grinder. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Hang on. They're not supposed to be able to lay eggs. Help! Somebody help! Somebody help! No! I don't want to die! Uh oh. <laughs> Quick vent all decks! Now, repair! And preferably put some armor plating on it. <clears throat> Take it down. Need better reactors. Mission complete. What about that? I'm guessing that wasn't part of the zombie flotilla. Yay! I got. That was a close call, that was. A very close call. So damn slow, this ship. I think the idea of, of putting a tractor beam on it is not bad. The only problem is, is it really hasn't got much cargo space. So. And with it having such a crap momentum. It's, um. It's not the best ship in the world to uh, to be collecting crap with and having to deposit them off at the beacon. Right, that blowfish can die. Maybe we can just tickle it. Right, there we go. Okay. So, well, that's that then. We've unlocked the system. Oh, there's a shed load of missions. Oh, these are the missions that completely destroyed me the last time. What have we got in there? It's some sort of run. Yeah, it's just a cannon weapon. What have we got? Research points. I didn't actually catch that. We could do with better reactors. See, so we've got the best shields that money can buy. We've got the best beam weapons that money can buy. But we need better reactors. But neither. To be honest, we need a lot, a lot of different other things that are just better. Um, could do with better turrets, to be honest. But it's because they're very slow at the moment. Armor's not a bad idea, assuming you don't invent the plates, of course. I thought we did quite well to, to say that I <laughs> jettisoned all my armor. Goodness sakes! Launchers we don't really use to any significant degree anymore. Or at all. I mean, there's some seeker SRMs we use, but nothing special. Let's let's save up those points, shall we? Let's head to the mining colony. Don't do we get free stuff? I thought we got free stuff. Do we stop off and do some mining? 
Mining's good. Yeah, we'll collect some rares. What I'm going to do... I'm going to upgrade, then I'm going to refit in a, a, to a mining operation. And then I'm going to have a look. Because the most important thing about mining, I find, is not how many mining beams you've got. Because it would be all very well slapping a couple of mining beams on this thing and, and, and doing that. But, to be honest, I don't think that's going to work as well. Just because of the sheer hangar space. See, the only thing I would say... See, the Star Cruiser's got a decent cargo capacity. Hang on a second. So, that cargo capacity is not quite double. It, it's a good 60% more than what I've got. And 60% more than what I've got... Oh, wrong button. Is going to be more than I get with the, um, the mule. So... Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... And what's that one got? Okay, let's just slap. That one's got more cargo capacity. It's got drone bay. Yeah, basically, this might be a half decent mining ship. It might be. It might be. I could do with a hull, uh, a cargo upgrade. Where's the cargo upgrade? Do I just not have? A cargo hold upgrade mod. And I know that I, I'm unlikely to actually have the skill to equip it, but the fact that I haven't got it at all is a bit pants, <laughs> to be fair. Let's just strap loads of that on there. We don't need a decent reactor. I want the best engines, though. We don't need particularly good ships. We don't need any armor plates. I mean, this is a mining ship. We don't need any surplus crew. But to be actually to be fair, it's not gonna really matter one way or the other, is it? It's mining. So, there. Um the only other problem with this is you don't really have any good tractor beams. That is the other key thing. You don't have any significant utility slots. See the thing with the mule is that it's got those large utility mounts and those tractor beams. You know, the most important thing is to suck up the uh, suck up the res. See, that's got three medium utility mounts. You know what? It's still the mule. It's still the mule. It's just the tractor beams. It's just yeah. It's just it is just better. Crazy. Absolutely bonkers. But yeah, that's it. That that so far is still currently the best mining ship, in my opinion. Because without those large tractor beams, you just can't suck up the goods so easily. Yeah, you can't have a small tractor beam. Yeah, there'll be the whole world will be just full of rares, fine, but you're not gonna actually be able to suck any of it up. So yeah. I'm going to just have to do it this way. Okay, hang on a second. Is there not a better... Yes, there bloody is a better mining... That mean then that there's something better for that. Oh my god, I could have a second. <laughs> oh dear. Right. In fact, actually, with this one, I'm gonna double mount it because if this one's gonna be an automated dude, then There's my 
And why has my mining ship got any armor? They don't need armor, they're mining ships. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a case of trying to find the exact <coughs> combination of of ships, but I think I just need to unlock more of these huge mega ships. Oh, I do need another beam. I, I have mucked up the design slightly. That does actually need a forward facing mining beam. My mistake. Because the, the main big beam is just too faffy. Oh my god, this thing is like. What does this mean, this thing? <laughs> It's insane! Right. Oh, no! I obviously just switched ship just as it, um... Right then. That's it. Come on. With two mules... I mean, that mule's gonna basically do its thing and... and uh, hopefully, with its huge cargo capacity... Yeah, it's just the tractor beams. I mean, yes, I could have a mule as my assisting, as my second ship. Um, and then have this one. But again, you know, there's so much res. There's always res on screen. Always. There's no let up. Do you know what I mean? There's absolutely no reason for me to actually have more offensive output mining beams. Come on then. Let's get going. Obviously once I unlock a large ship that's got good utility slots some large utility slots or some huge utility slots, that'd be interesting. Then obviously the situation will change. Okay. That one's pretty much full now. Oh I've I've actually done this to the Yeah, okay, what I'm gonna do I've changed my mind. <clears throat> you know what I'm like. Okay, now that ship, with it being full, should head back now. So there you go. What I can do is I can sort of play tag team, and it stops me having to do the runs back to base. We're getting, we're getting some good stuff going now. But yeah, I can't wait to get a huge ship that's got some decent utility mounts for tractor beams. That is going to make mine. I mean, I thought getting, getting this beast with a huge mining beam increased my output. Getting a huge ship that can do mining. Oh, that's going to be like mining dream. <laughs> I mean, you've got to get some sort of excitement when you're mining. It's not the most interesting of activities. No roids shall escape. Okay, now this is a lot of roids. Uh, it's a 
good stuff. But you've got to have a little bit of res to spare for the old rebuilding of ships. I'm not sure how much we're going to have to actually upgrade the um, the various stations because there's so many of them. I don't think it requires too many upgraded. I think we just need to unlock lots of them, free them from the clutches of the zombie hives, and then and then they should give us enough fleet strength to do the assault on the wormhole. I mean, that's just crazy stuff right there. I mean, honestly, I thought we'd get to the centre. There'd be some kind of twist, um, and then that would be pretty much it. I didn't think there'd be a whole new style of gameplay. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. I mean, by the time you see this episode, of course, you'll know that Grimrock's over. Um, that was a great game, that was. I have to admit, I did enjoy Grimrock more than I've enjoyed Spaz. Spaz is fun. Spaz is fun, don't get me wrong. But I would say that I've enjoyed my time in Grimrock more as a game. And I mean, yeah, of course, Spaz isn't finished. It could pull something on me that just like blows my brain. Um, but yeah, I would say Grimrock slightly better. But still, it was, it was a bit short. That was, that was a shame, really. You know, I've got so many more Spaz episodes. I suppose it's just a case of Spaz is kind of a. It's, it's not samey, but it's um, a lot of uh, it is. Rep there's a bit of repetition on there, isn't there? Because that's where the extra gameplay comes in. Take note, games developers, you see. Grimrock may have been shorter, but it was better, in my opinion. So, that's because of the quality. Quality. Repetition does not mean good gameplay. Probably going to be all right as far as all goes. I'm gonna spend, do a couple more runs. And then I'm gonna call it quits for this episode. But yeah, I'm not gonna upgrade any more stations. I don't think I need to. Jeez, look at the oh, look at the res! What? What? It's madness. But yeah, toggling between the ships is quite effective. It means more time for me actually focusing on decent mining, quality mining, rather than what the computer control ships, the AI control ships tend to fly around in a relatively unfocused fashion. I think that extra cargo hold is good as well. It seems to be um, making the res flow quite well. There you go, you see. It's not just about the mining beams. You've got to have a good cargo hold and a good setup of, of tracked beams. Jeez. Why do these roids never deplete anything? Anyway? <laughs> it's like you just shoot them lots with the big beam, and they they split off lots of smaller roids. But to be honest, I, I can't see how it works. Right. Shall I? Call it quits. I think I might. So I just thought I'd do one episode this session. Because I've got just enough time. Just enough time. 
to bring you sweet folks. What the hell? How did we level up? What, you gain experience for blowing up roids? What? I, what? What? How? What? I don't understand. When did this happen? Okay, I've got three data now, right? Obviously collecting res doesn't give us anything. Otherwise we'd be getting it right now. So if I drop some res off, does, is that what kind of triggers it? Do, do you know what I mean? I'm dropping some res off. Um, no? No? I don't understand. Just absorb all this. I don't understand. I'm confused. I'm very confused about now. Come on, big beam time. Oh, look at that thing, it's ridiculously speedy. Right, I think that that's. There's a few bits up here. To be honest though, there's not really anything significant going on. Right, okay. Let's head back to home. Okay, 22,000 rares. That's not bad. So we're going to switch you, switch you, switch you, and switch you. You, the Cyclops. Could you upgrade to the Cyclops? Well, of course you could upgrade to the Cyclops. I doesn't mean to say that I want to. Well, you've got utility mounts. A huge... My what? How the hell? How the hell can a Cyclops have a huge shooter mount? It's a small ship. What? Yeah, hell yeah. How can my smallest ship have a huge... I mean, it's going to struggle to have the um, the capacity to do it. I mean, I'm going to see if it can. And point defense, that'd be great. But I think I'm going to need... Let's slap a couple of point defenses on it. And... I think I'm probably going to need a reactor module. There's no way that that thing can... There's no way a ship like that can run a huge fusion beam emitter. Surely not. You can't. I'm not complaining it... Oh, hang on. I'm not complaining if it does. Got the Raven. What have I got? So, okay, at the moment I've got that, which has got large and medium shoot amounts. How have I actually got it equipped though? That's the, um, the other question. Basically fusion beams and SRMs and stuff like that. No, I keep pressing the wrong bloody button, don't I? Two medium shoot... Oh, it's a drone. It's a drone ship. Stuff that. Um, ooh! Oh, hang on, I've got this here. So it's got more maneuverability. It's not got as much hull strength and whatnot. Um, but it's got. Okay, let's see what we can do with it. Because I, I get the setup of that. You know what? That. That will be a horrible combination. Is 
So that can go anywhere. These two will point vaguely forward. Lots of point defense to ward off crappy zombies. <laughs> Might as well have small little booster modules. Um, and tractor beam. A tractor beam for sucking something up. And then shields. Actually, let's put the beam there and slap the shield in there. Yeah, let's give that a whirl. That's got some decent point defense. And then you. You. We've decided that the hammerhead is still better. Just simply because. I. I don't know, actually. To be fair. Let's give the Star Cruiser a whirl. Hang on a second. It's because it's only got one medium utility mount. Is that going to really be enough to to ward off zombie attack? Give it a, let's give it a whirl. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I might have trouble hitting things. Because it's so manoeuvrable, but this one's only got forward shoot amounts, you know? So let's see if it's any good at all. Let's put awesome shields. I know, I, I like, I just love having awesome shields, you know, the upgrades and everything. Reactor, beams, bit of engine. Yeah. But actually, let's put that on there. Slap a couple of fusion beams on it. I need... I do need point defense. I don't care what anyone says. Right. It's slow, but okay. I've switched my turrets onto auto mode so that they can just shoot things as they feel like it. All right. Well, let's see how that works. But that will have to wait until next time. And until then, cheerio.